Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh. Uh, just doing a bit of an update. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so I figured I'd do something and what I've been up to lately. Uh, I've been working on this for quite a while now. Uh, it's a pretty large system. I've got seven of these IBC totes that are set up here. Uh, two of them are from last year's setup that I had, and I just kind of plumbed them in with all of it. But I finally just completed it yesterday, and that's why all of these plants look dead. It's because I just transplanted them into there, and uh, I don't know whether or not they'll make it. They're kind of large for, to be transplanting, but we'll see if they kind of make it. I, I moved them from my garage, and my garage had uh, overgrown. Uh, too many plants <laughs> and this is probably about half of them so if, the, if they come back that's great if not I'll just plant some more seeds of some other stuff so um, yeah I guess I can go through putting it all together I cut all the tanks the tops off and set up um, all of the drains for all of them and it's uh, pretty basic how it's set up most of the newer tanks that I've got I've got one two three four new tanks here that I cut the tops off recently and the very center is where I have the drain and how I did that was I used a two inch fitting and uh, I don't know if you can see this very well but this is just my example but there's a like a I guess a fitting down there that you can unscrew and I put a two inch it's exactly two inch so I put a two inch uh, male fitting into that and I put a standpipe that comes up and that's in that Right there, that's a three inch or four inch PVC pipe there that's surrounding the, uh, the drain. So that's standing up straight and is uh, helping the system to drain. And I have some uh, pipes down here for the water to drain back into the bottom tanks. And that's that for, uh, for the top portion. Um, this tank here, the guy that I got all my tanks from, I bought four of them and he asked me if I wanted this one just because uh, he had done some cutting. He cut the top of it already. So I wasn't able to really use it for a traditional system. So I just kind of have it filled with water and it's also going to be part of the whole system. So it just serves as more uh, gallons, I guess you could say. So after I cut everything off, I, I set them all up in order that I wanted to have them. And I took all my old tanks and I set them right next to them as well. Kind of hoping that, you know, they would work in this system as well. And I did all of the uh, return piping. So these are, this is all two inch uh, piping. And how it works is the water rises up to that level and then overflows down to here. I've got some uh, PVC pipes there that are actually going down the length of it. So it tries to pick up as much solids from the bottom. Uh, I had to drill some holes in some of these elbows because I wanted to make sure that there was air. No uh, siphoning would occur. And uh, yeah, I've got all of the returns going back into my reservoir over there, which I'll get to in a bit. But these, you know, every tank has its own water level, so I fill it up to, uh, you know, wherever I had set the, the amount up to, and it kind of overflows into this bottom pipe, which is the lowest point of uh, gravity for all of these. So you might be able to hear some of the water moving, but um, they all, you know, yeah, as you can see, the water level in all of them, they all overflow into this system down here, and uh, they drain down into my reservoir which is, uh, I believe this is like a 50 gallon tank. Um, I've got a hose ran to it right now. It's hooked up to my rain barrel across the way. I'm not really sure if you can see it all that well. But I'm gonna make a, a floating ball valve so that if the water level drops very much, it'll automatically fill it to a specific level. And uh, that I'll have to install sometime soon. So there's a 1300 gallon per hour pump in here. And uh, it sends the water up. I've got a T on there in case I don't need to divert any water back, you know, de depending on how much water pressure I have in there. And I've got, uh, this is one inch PVC that feeds every, every tank. And it comes up to the top. <coughs> and the one inch goes to this setting right here. This is a, um, a one inch to one inch on this side so that my delivery system is all one inch PVC. But this part right here is three quarter inch. Now the only reason why I did that is because these uh, valves here these ball valves are cheaper, and uh, I don't have to spend as much money. So I use this ball valve, and it kind of goes over to here so I can control the water that gets to each grow bed. So it goes to each one, 
and it goes to each one of them and so I can control how much water so that some of these have bell siphons in them so that they will kick on and kick off at the right times so it's all of it you know going going into there I had to do this one separate because I didn't buy enough fittings so this one inch PVC goes to this elbow here that's a reducing elbow to a three quarter inch then I use three quarter inch to deliver to this bed here and then three quarter inch piping to deliver to this tank over here I did not anticipate that I was going to need to that I was going to use this tank but this one is uh you know it holds a lot of water so I, I should be able to put plenty of fish in there but I just filled these yesterday so the water looks a little murky uh, sorry about that but you know it'll clear up eventually I put uh one tilapia or goldfish in each to uh, kind of clean it up. You can see some some mosquito larva or whatnot are chilling in there, but a lot of them will get eaten up by the fish. So I've got fish in each one, just one, just to kind of test it out. If I see any floaters, see any gold goldfish floaters, then I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> the system's not safe for a bunch of fish. So. Each one has a fish in it and eventually we'll figure out whether or not it's safe. But I changed things up a bit. Uh, this was my old system and I have these uh, grates on top of it just to kind of support the bed a little bit better. But you can kind of see that this system doesn't really work all that well because I have to sit them on these posts that are sticking up and they're not very good support. So I cut these differently to where I have this bar going all across and I just had these posts kind of sticking up like that. It's, you know, not really too sharp, but um, eventually I might put a rail on that just to kind of keep myself from getting all scratched up from getting the stuff. I also changed things because as you can see, there's not very much clearance here to get to scoop fish out, you know, whenever I need to catch them. And uh, how I did, how I fixed that was uh, I used um, four by fours and I set them on top and made it so that it was it pushed the tanks further back you can see this one here this uh, grow bed up top here is pushed forward some and these ones are all a little bit further back they're overhanging more I did that so that I have I would have more clearance with needing to get to fish I found that to be a trouble so I'm kind of learning from all of my mistakes that I had made originally I also put the 4x4 posts in there to uh, provide better uh, structural support for the beds and not only that it raises the uh, the um, grow bed off of the water so that I can use uh, uh, elbows and pipes to to use a bell siphon so that the pipes stand under water so that kicks on every so often and drains the tank it's just as a mechanical type thing you can kind of see some in there there's a, um, a PVC pipe I'll pull that out this is just a I got a spire crawling on me two inch PVC with a cap with a little hole and then I don't know if you can see it very well but there's a uh, standpipe in there and this fits over the standpipe and will create a suction once it fills up and it will drain all of the water out so it just makes it so that it will uh, flood and drain better most of you probably already know uh, about bell siphons at least those who've already done aquaponics and they're pretty relatively simple to make so but yeah, that's this uh, setup, and I'm pretty proud of it. it it's taken quite a while to do, and um, but it should be, you know, a total, approximately 200 gallons per tank. I've got seven tanks, so it's 1,400 gallons. This is a 1,300 gallon per hour pump, so I will be moving a gallon. Every gallon will have cycled through the system every hour, so that's quite a bit of uh, water movement. So, and I don't have any external filtration either, fil uh, or external uh, oxygenation. I'm making bubbles here with this uh, return pipe here, and it's sending the water to everything. And you know, you can kind of see bubbles coming up. So I've got some. This really isn't. These tanks need a little bit more, but like I said, it fills up and then drains really fast, and it'll oxygenate the water. So we'll see how all of this works out, and um, I'll I'll keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching.